Hello everyone, David A. Cox here, the founder of PCClassesOnline.com, and I wanted to do a little video for all of you to show you some of the brand spanking new features in iOS 6. We are developers for Apple, so we have a copy of this uh, probably about one to two months before it actually comes out, but uh, it's got some really nice features for both the iPhone and the iPad, and I uh, just want to show you a few of them. So let's begin. You're looking at my iPhone right now. And uh, we're going to start off with talking about some of the settings that are uh, coming out now that are really, really nice. My favorite by far is do not disturb. How many times do you plug in your iPhone to charge next to your bed and then in the middle of the night, ding, Facebook notification, ding, email from some spammer. So the nice thing with do not disturb is you can set specific hours to uh, have your phone, it, if a notification comes in, sorry, that's a little email coming in. If you get a notification, it will not light up the screen, it will not ding, it will not even vibrate. So it's really nice. The way you set Do Not Disturb is actually under Notifications. And it's the very first option here, Do Not Disturb. So you can see I've programmed mine, I'm a bit of a night owl, between 11.30 and 8.59 a.m., nothing goes to my phone. Or at least it goes to my phone, but I don't hear it. There are exceptions, though. So, for example, if you have favorites in your contact list, what you can do is allow if they call you, it will come through, but just calls, not emails. Also, another feature, which is really smart of Apple to put in, is repeated calls. So if someone's in an emergency and they call you and it goes to voicemail, typically what they're going to do is they're going to try to call you again. So what this will allow is that if they call you within three minutes, it'll let the second call through. Very nice feature. Another big thing that I discovered and uh, did not know about until I actually got iOS 6 is that if you scroll to the very, very bottom, they now have built-in Amber Alerts and Emergency Alerts. So if there's a child abduction in your area, boom, everyone who has an iPhone gets an immediate alert for the car to look for. Same goes for Emergency Alerts. If there's a hurricane coming, a bad storm, a tornado, everyone who has an iPhone gets the notification. Another feature uh, has to do with mail. I'm not going to go into it because I don't love throwing my email address out there for the world to see, even though I think some days that everyone knows it. But what you can do is allow one email account to show up in your notification center and not another. It's a nice feature. Let's see here. I have a little cheat sheet. Um, they've enhanced privacy controls. So certain apps use your data. Like, for example, if I go into Contacts, you can see Facebook, Skype, Haytel, and WhatsApp are all currently using my contacts. If I want to deny access, I just simply turn it off. And same goes for calendars, reminders, and photos. Oh, let's see here. Ah, some of you might remember back in the days of AOL, uh, there was this option that was actually really nice and probably the only nice thing I can actually say about AOL which was that if you sent someone an email, there was a way to tag it so that as soon as they open it, you get a notification letting, them know, letting you know that they've read it. The same now is possible in messages. I'm not going to go into it because it's going to flash my phone number on the screen, and I'm trying to avoid that. So if you go into messages, there's an option called receipts, and it'll just basically say that if someone sends you a text message, sorry, an iMessage, so from another iPhone, when you read it, it'll let them know if they would like to that you have, in fact, read it. Next is uh, there is now built-in Twitter and Facebook support. So it used to be kind of a pain in the butt if you wanted to post a photo or even just anything to Facebook. Now it's built right into your phone. Another really sweet feature is contacts. So what it'll do is if you hit this button that says Update Contacts, It'll grab your friends' photos, email addresses, phone numbers, and it'll put it right into your address book. It's a very slick feature uh, for people who want that kind of a thing. Um, it's also a great reason not to become what I always call a friend whore, which means you just start friending everyone. I can't stand people who do that, and I don't. Um, so if you do that, what's nice is that if one of your friends from Facebook calls you on your phone, their photo will show up as they call you. And of course, they'll already be in your caller ID. It won't be some mystery number. The other nice feature is that Facebook will start to integrate reminders uh, for events as well as birthdays right into your calendar. 
Now you can turn these off individually if you like. So for example, I have a good amount of friends, so I usually turn off birthdays in my calendar because I view them when I'm on Facebook. But that is an option. And you can tweak it however you want. Another nice feature, uh, which again, I, I can't really show you because it's going to flash my phone number, has to do with these phone settings. And what you can do is when someone calls you, I, I believe it is specific to an iPhone, but I can't be certain of that. Uh, you can, instead of declining the call, what you can do is reply with a text message. So you can have three defined messages. For example, I just programmed one that says, I'm working with a client, I will call you back as soon as I'm done. You could do another that says, go away, I'm sleeping whatever you want. You can program that to your heart's content. Next we're going to talk about Notification Center. And Notification Center is when you drag your finger from the top of the screen down, you get all these little, uh, all these little uh, reminders, events that have come up. As you can see here, right at the very, very top, um, it says tap to tweet or tap to post to Facebook. So if I want to go to Facebook, I can just, boom, talk and post without having to even go into the Facebook app. Same goes for Twitter. Maps is a big improvement here. So if we go into Maps right now, I'll show you some of the some of the new features. All right. So I uh, did it. I tried to do this video before, and my phone rang in the middle of the demo. Um, as you see, you may see it where it says 2:50 p.m. There's a little half moon. I actually have my phone right now in the Do Not Disturb mode, so that uh, no phone calls will be coming in while we're doing this. So one of the biggest developments in iOS 6 is Apple has ditched Google, thank God, and gone with their own Maps program. It also includes a 3D uh, Maps program. So what I can do is, let's just go right into where I'm sitting right now. It tends to shift around just a little bit as it's trying to pinpoint. And it'll become increasingly clear. But what's nice is that I can use my finger, I'm going to turn this 3D, so now I can really navigate, zoom in however I want. It'll show me the directions for the one-way streets. And it's just really, I find it a much easier way for me to figure out where I'm going. I'm kind of spatially challenged. So even though I've lived in Provincetown for, let's see, almost five years now, uh, this makes it a lot easier. For, I still don't know streets. So this allows me a much easier way to visualize how to get around. There's also, of course, built-in dr driving directions. So if I want to go to New York City, which is what I was trying to do earlier, it will give me turn-by-turn -turn driving directions. And it'll give me three different options for routes. It'll show me that Route 1 is the fastest, but it does require a toll. So let's hit Start. Starting route to New York City, New York. Head northwest on Spinnaker Lane. And what'll happen is as uh, if, if traffic starts to build up, if there's an accident, that shouldn't have come through. As traffic starts to come through, uh, what will happen is it'll give me alerts, it'll give me an option for a detour, but it's a really nice application. Uh, up till now, we've had to recommend to people third-party applications for uh, GPS, and it's so nice to now have that feature built in. Really, really nice. The App Store looks a little bit different. Let's see if we can pull that up for you. It's much more graphical. As you can see here, we've got featured apps. You can flip through. It's just, I find it more friendly. Less, less listy. Surrey has a lot of improvements. Um, for example, now you can get sports information, restaurants, movies, post to Facebook, or even launch apps. So let me give you a couple examples. The Red Sox are playing right now. Let's see how they're doing. How are the Red Sox doing? And eventually... One moment. It's seven to two. Red Sox. And if I, actually cared about, if I actually cared about sports, I would be excited right now. A couple other things you can do. You can find out schedules, stats of individual players... Uh, scores for past games. Under restaurants, let's try that. Where can I get a lobster dinner? I found 15 
dinner restaurants whose reviews mention lobster. 13 of them are fairly close to you. So as you can see here, uh, it's significantly more, it's significantly improved. It now talks to Yelp. So you can see price, uh, how far it is from you, and the reviews, which is a really nice feature. And if I want to uh, find out more information, let's say I want to go to, let's see, who do I want to give a shout out to? Let's give a shout out to the Lobster Pot. We love the Lobster Pot. We'll just tap on them. Oops, I went too far. And so you can see here, I have 184 reviews I can go through. I have their phone number, their website, a little map. Okay. Uh, or I can tap on where it says photos here, and I can see photos of the food, which is kind of funny because I've shot almost all of those photos for them. That's uh, restaurants. You can also search by cuisine, price, location, if it has outdoor seating. So let's try that. Where can I eat dinner tonight that has outdoor seating? I found 15 dinner restaurants that have outdoor seating. 12 of them are fairly close to you. Pretty sweet. You can also find out movie information. Show me the trailer for the movie Brave. Which movie were you interested in? So I'll tap on the 2012. Looking for movies. And now it's going to play the trailer. <laughs> so there we go. We won't wait for that to load. You can trust me on that one. Uh, you can find out stats about actors. Show me the movies that Tom Cruise has been in. Checking for movies. I found quite a number of movies with Tom Cruise. So here's all the movies that he's been in. You can see here the way it's getting this information is through Rotten Tomatoes. So you can also find out reviews, of course, too. You can post to Facebook. So if I want to post a quick thing, I can say, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but I can dictate a message and have it post to Facebook. You can also have it launch apps. So let's say um, launch maps. Boom. It opens right up. And there we are. That's just a bunch of the uh, new features that you're going to find in iOS 6. If you haven't heard about us, uh, our company, PCClassesOnline.com, is the world's first and only live online virtual classroom for adults. We teach live classes three times a week, and it's great because it's interactive too. So uh, if you have questions, we can unlock your computer or your iPad or your iPhone's microphone, and uh, you can just simply speak. One last little feature I want to show you before we go here. Uh, I'm going to go back to my main screen. And another major innovation is that now the iPad has Surrey as well. It's not going to actually do anything with me saying that. but you get the idea. So now you'll be able to have Siri on your iPhone and your iPad, um, and that'll work on the iPad 3. We call it the iPad 3. Screw Apple. Or the iPad 2. It's a really nice feature. That's all, everyone. If you have any questions, you can contact us through our website at pcclassesonline.com. My name is David A. Cox, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care.